Hello boys and girls. Our story today is about King Nebuchadnezzar's dream. He was the king of Babylon when it was ruled the world. Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams which troubled him and he couldn't sleep. And the king commanded to call all the astrologers and the magicians and the sorcerers and to the Chaldeans to tell them to the king his dreams. The king of Babylon said to them, The dream is gone from me. If you will not make known to me the dream, with the interpretation of it, you shall be cut in pieces. But if you show me the dream and the interpretation of it, you shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honour. The Chaldean wise men answered before the king, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord or ruler, that asks such a thing of any magician or any astrologer or any Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king requires. And there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with us. The king said, There is but one decree for you. You have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me. The king was angry and furious and commanded to be, destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be killed. And they sought Daniel and his fellows also to be killed. Then Daniel went in before the king and desired of the king that he would give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, that they would desire mercies of God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven and said, Blessed be the name of God for ever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, There is a God in heaven that reveals secrets and makes known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Daniel said, You, O king, saw and beheld a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before you. The image head was of fine gold. His breast and arms were of silver, his belly and thighs of brass, his legs were of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. And you saw that a stone was cut out without hands and it struck the image on his feet and broke all of it in pieces. It became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away and there was no place found for them. The stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Boy, that was some dream. This is the dream, said Daniel, and we will tell you the interpretation before the king. You see, this is called Nebuchadnezzar's statue. The head of gold represented the Babylonian Empire. The silver represented the Medo-Persian per, uh, Empire. And the bronze represented the Greek Empire. The iron was the Roman Empire, and iron and clay represents the modern powers. The rock, of course, represents the kingdom of God. And Daniel said, In the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and it shall stand forever. For as much as you saw that the stone was cut out with the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. And the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. 
and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. Then the king answered Daniel and said, Of a truth it is, and your God is a God of gods, and Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets, seeing you could reveal this secret. Then the king made Daniel a great man, and gave him many gifts, and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon, and the chief of the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of the king, and he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his three mates, over the affairs of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. John the Revelator says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. And we all can be there. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that's Jesus, that who so ever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life and that's what Jesus told us boys and girls in John chapter 3 and verse 16 God bless you boys and girls